It may look unloved both inside and out, but there are big plans for the Athenaeum building. Already the home of literature with the Athenaeum Library, it is expected to expand as a home of arts and theatre. The man paying $900,000 for a piece of octagon history says someone has to step up and take responsibility for the city's built heritage. Because if, if, if we don't do it, um, no one else is going to. Um, and people are always saying they should do something. Who are they? They is us. And I believe these are great buildings. The purchase, of course, was not done on a whim by the local businessman. It has to be economically sustainable. Firstly, with the existing tenants, it is losing money because they only occupy such a small amount of the space. So, obviously, we have to get more of the space being utilised and hopefully without a large capital expenditure initially. Alan Baddock is involved in community arts and culture and picked up on talk of an arts and culture hub. He took an idea to Forbes for a community interest company governed by a trust to manage the building as a space for arts businesses. But at the same time, uh, we want to use spaces to support community groups and, and those emerging artists who can't afford to go and hire a, a big venue. There is also room for a very important original tenant to grow. Making um, it more accessible for writers and readers and um, having some sort of model that we can work from that uh, gives Dunedin's literary heritage the place it deserves. All the players have dreams for a building that once had a far grander facade than it has now and the result should bring the arts community back into the dream location for anyone with an eye for real estate. David Lockray, 9, Local News.